Hello guys, it's Dale here with a new day trading analysis. Today I'll talk about a new trading idea and two strong resistances on the Euro, British Pound. But before that, just wanted to show you a nice reaction to a level uh, which I published on Monday. I sent you that level in an email. Uh, it was on the New Zealand dollar, Canadian dollar. Uh, the level was in here 0.8077. This was the level based on this significant zone which was created within this downtrend. This was a volume profile setup called the trend setup and yesterday a very nice reaction to that trend setup. So I hope you guys were trading it and now let me switch uh, to the Euro British Pound and let me show you what I have for you there. So in here there is also a strong downtrend. By the way, we are looking at 30 minute time frame. And within this downtrend, there are two significant volume zones very close uh, to the current price. This one and this one. So when there is a trend and you see significant volume zones like those, you want to trade pullbacks. So ideal scenario is wait for the price to reach the first resistance at 0.8563 short from there then ideal case would be pull back to the higher one and short from there the higher one is at 0.8587 now the reasoning behind those two levels is that the sellers who were pushing the price downwards were adding to their short positions massively in here and in here. This is what the volume profile is telling us. And that's why those sellers should defend those zones because clearly they are important for them because they placed a lot of their positions there. So that's why this is the first resistance and this is the second resistance. Also, uh, there's a nice confluence with the first resistance, this one, because currently uh, the first deviation of VWAP that this gray line is uh, very close to that level actually like one pip below it and if it stays there at the time of the pullback it will make the level stronger because the price likes to react to the first deviation of uh, view up uh, for example like it did in here when the price was moving below the first deviation and then made the reaction here another nice pullback in here and a reaction. An ideal scenario would be another pullback to the first deviation of the VWAP or somewhere close to it and another reaction. All right, so that's what I really like about uh, the first level. It's the confluence of the VWAP setup and of the volume profile setup. So what we need to do now is just wait and hope that there'll be pullbacks and if there are those pullbacks, I'm not saying that there need to be those pullbacks. It could take a day, two days, maybe a week. I don't know if there is going to be a pullback or no. But if there's pullback, then nice place to go short from would be this one. Now, looking at the profile, there's also volume bump in here. But what I need to see after a volume bump is aggressive price movement. Like, for example, in here or in here. But after this volume cluster, there wasn't really anything like that. So I need to see some movement which would tell me that aggressive sellers were present there and that they're likely to defend those heavy volume zones. All right, so that's why I don't have a resistance here. But the first one is in here and the second one is here. All right, so that's about that. It's about the Euro British Pound analysis. I hope you guys liked it and I'll be looking forward to seeing you next time in some next video and until then happy trading.